How to plan a photo of the next super moon like this one or like this one in one minute with photo pills. Hello photo pillar Rafael the bar here. To plan your photo of the next super moon, go to photo pills and the first thing you need to do is to figure out when the super moon occurs, when the next super moon occurs. So go to the pills menu and tap on the moon pill and then tap on calendar and here on the calendar you can see you see the super moons in this yellow yellow circumference so the next super moon is on june uh, 2022 uh, june 14th 2022 and the second one of the year will be on july 13th so once you know the date of the super moon june 14th 2022 go back to the pills menu and tap on Planner. First step when you're on the planner is to place the red pin on the location on the area you wish to plan your photo and then tap on the time bar and set the date using the calendar, set the super moon date. In my case I'm gonna do it in another way. Go back to the map and double tap on the time bar here to set the date to today and then tap on the moon icon on the top panel on panel number four until the date it's the full moon date it happens which occurs to be the next super moon notice that the moon on the top panel has this yellow circumference around it this means that it's a super moon and it's on june 14th 2022 okay now that you've set the date based on the uh, moon rise direction and the moon set direction this uh, blue lines you see on the map find a subject a cool subject that can be aligned uh, with the super moon in my case i'm gonna go for a moon rise uh, because uh, based on the direction of the moon rise i think a spot over here is gonna be awesome because here we have a nice subject the lighthouse of lydia the lighter which has a height of 38 meters and as you see it can be aligned with the super moon just place the geoshooting spot next to the shore and with the moon rise occurring just above the lighthouse okay next step is to place the black pin right on your subject in my case the lighthouse of Lydia the lighter so go to panel number two tap on the button on the panel and place the black pin on the lighthouse right where you want the uh, moon to be in my case i'm planning a moon aligned with the lighthouse and aligned with the top of the lighthouse so i want the center of the moon to be at the same size of my uh, at the same height as the light high, uh, the, <laughs> as the lighthouse has so 38 meters okie dokie i have the lap pin on my lighthouse and uh, my shooting spot let's try to find the shooting spot for example here okay now i have my, my initial shooting spot the right pin position but what i have to do now is to change the time if i do a long press to move time more precisely change the time until the moon height you read on the top panel says 38 meters which is the height of the lighthouse so 38 meters more or less like this uh, 37.9 meters cool as you see from the, the red pin position the moon is not aligned with the lighthouse so what i'll do is move now you need to iterate a little bit move uh, back and forth your red pin position until the moon is aligned with the lighthouse and as you see when you change the red pin position the moon height on the top panel changes so i need to just time again until it's 38 meters okay i need to align it a bit you need to you know adjust the shooting spot and the shooting time until you get the final shooting spot and the final shooting time for the photo you want let me do it okay i think i have it now i have it i have the moon perfectly aligned with the lighthouse i know my shooting spot the repeat position and the moon height on the top panel you read 38.3 meters and it's gonna be cool uh, moon child because the size of the moon as you see in brackets is 18.4 meters and you also see the size of the moon on the map so that's it i have my plan even on june 14th 2022 at 9 52 pm i'm at the right pin position i'll be able to photograph the next super moon aligned with the top of the lighthouse of Lydia the lighter in menorca easy now you wish to learn more on how to plan the moon you wish to learn how to plan the depth of field the field of view 
on the map with four appeals, how to switch on and off the moon size on the map, watch this video. If you want to learn how to photograph, how to nail your moonshot, I recommend you to download our super detailed moon photography guide. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below. Download it. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday with another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot legendary photos. Bye bye.